Welcome Vault Drawlers, my name is Nacho Bidness, and there is Bob. I've loaded up my character from the Starlight Settlement Evolution Challenge in order to answer a question from an alert viewer named Kristen Ferguson who asked what are all the logic gates on those power pylons headed down to the boathouse. So we're not going to do any more adventures with Bob while we wait for the build mode here. I'll just tell you that in my mind, uh, Bob and Codsworth and Dogmeat4 and Sean sailed off into the sunset uh, trying to find help for Sean from what's left of the railroad down at Rivet City. And that's the end of the story for me. I don't know if they made it. I don't know if maybe Bob died of cancer before they got to Rivet City and maybe the boat sank with uh, with the survivors aboard and uh, Sean and everybody else died with with Bob or maybe they made it to Rivet City and Bob was able to finally see his son grow up don't know fun to speculate at any rate Kristen asked what are these logic gates for and now that we're in build mode I can kind of show you if you've been paying attention to my videos you know that I like to have all of my lights turn on only at night and I like to have them turn on automatically. I don't like lights on in the daytime and it's annoying to go running around hitting a bunch of switches to turn lights on after nightfall. So the idea with this was I wanted to carry power from my generator shack down to the boathouse and I like to be able to isolate different parts of the settlement and I also like to be able to have a manual override for switches it helps or for those clock switches and, and automatic lights it helps when I make videos and it also helps when I need to set up new lights so what I've got here is a switched pylon here that runs power to these other pylons that come down to the boathouse and then on each pylon I have set up this little machine. I've got a clock switch and an AND gate, a conduit, and a light. And what that allows me to do is I can hit this switch and because the AND gate's no longer true, the conduit's not powered and the lights turn off. Meanwhile, as long as I leave that switch in the default on position, I can have power in the boathouse during the day, and my lights will turn off automatically. Let me show you how to build this. Now this does require the electronics mod and the advanced settlement power mod. So sorry to PlayStation 4 players. And let's get in here to the electronics mod and we're just going to put a, uh, actually let's bring this over here in the light a little bit. So these pylons have three sides and one side is a ladder that gets someone up to work on that transformer at the top. The other side is the side that the transformer is mounted to and it's a little soft for building. But this side is a side that we can use to uh, to clamp things to. So we're gonna build our stuff on that side and we're just gonna put that pylon right about there. Now this is an insulated power pylon which means it's not a power radiator and I can kind of uh, play with this without accidentally messing around with other lighting circuits around the settlement. The next thing that I need here is I need a clock switch from oops, from the advanced settlement power mod once I actually get into it. Let's see, is uh, clock switches are in miscellaneous, and so I'm just gonna set that guy right about there. And I also know that I'm going to want a small radius power conduit. So let me go ahead and get that while I'm in this menu. So I'll just set that guy uh, right about there. 
And I'm also going to need an AND gate. Now, interesting thing about the logic gates when you work with uh, with place anywhere, because I can't place that AND gate directly on the pylon. It just it's always red. It won't go. Um, this AND gate is clamped to this wall. So if I put this AND gate on a pylon using place anywhere, if I pick this wall up, that see how that AND gate disappeared and now there's like a couple floating AND gates around down the way? It's because they're still clamped to that wall and their position is figured relative to the position of the wall. So the best thing to do if you're going to use place anywhere with a logic gate is come over here to some kind of permanent structure that you're very unlikely to scrap or move. Um, that way you can put your AND gate down and oh come on put that AND gate down and that's close enough and since I can't move that and I don't intend to scrap it it, I'm not going to come around the corner and find this AND gate just floating in the middle of nowhere. So let's get our inputs to our AND gate together. Um, probably, yep, going to have to wire glitch that one. So the first one is just straight from the pylon to the AND gate. And there we go. Actually, let's go ahead and program our clock switch. program the clock switch, I'm going to use a very handy device that is in the electronics mod. It's called a uh, self-powered terminal. It only makes one power, but it's enough to program a clock switch. Nice thing about doing it this way is that I can program just that one clock switch without having to disconnect a bunch of other circuits or without accidentally changing things elsewhere in my settlement power grid. See, I want that light to turn on at 8 p.m. And I think I have them turning off at 6 a.m. And let's get back into build mode. There are a lot of other ways that you could do this particular build. You could, for example, have a second set of conduits that you mount to these pylons and basically have dual wires that run all the way down and run all of this off of a single AND gate and a single clock switch. But it's not the look that I wanted in this particular location to have the, uh, the double wires on the, on the pylons. Uh, another way that you could do this is you could hide a lot of these things underground using uh, the concrete pillar glitches and some other stuff but again I like having these things exposed for one thing it gave me a chance to uh, answer a user or sorry viewer comment and that is very nice I was uh, glad to have the extra inspiration for a video I'm just gonna move that Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to move that conduit. Anyways, so the last, so we've got the two inputs on our AND gate, right? Like it's it's late night, and so that clock switch is live, and we've got the main switch or the main power for the pylon, so the AND gate's live, and now our tiny radius conduit is, of course, live. Let's go ahead and get our light, and I'm going to place this down. And I'm going to do this deliberately the wrong way because I had this happen while I was uh, practicing this video and I thought it made a, uh, a good additional tutorial. So everything looks like it's going to work perfectly, right? I should be able to turn this light off or that switch off and all the lights go off. And it sort of worked, but it didn't do it on this new light that I just placed down. What happened? Well, somewhere around here, I have a conduit that is live that's in radius of this and this light is now looking at that conduit so to fix this is pretty easy what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around and we're just gonna start turning off lights 
and we just keep turning off lights until we see that uh, that light on the power pylon turn off so come down here to the uh, booger fart and uh, turn that off and that light's still on so it must be the lights inside the bunker somewhere in here is a live circuit that's close enough to that pylon so if I just turn the lights off yep that did it so now what I can do is I can turn this back on and since that since that light is still looking at the wrong thing all we have to do now is pick it up and place it back down so I just store that and now I can put this guy back down and that's all there is to it these lights are now going to work just the way that I want them to I can go ahead and turn that on turn this on and see that yep those lights are still off and we'll come in and turn the lights on in our panic bunker here and that light is still off but once we hit this switch it'll turn on and in the morning when it hits uh, 6 or 7 a.m whatever i set that clock switch to the uh, that clock switch will turn off the and gate will not be true the conduit will turn off and the light will turn off so there you go Kristen. that is the answer to your question about what those logic gates are doing on those pylons i hope that this maybe helped someone else out or maybe gave someone else some ideas of things that they can do with their pylons if you have questions i would love to hear about those in the video comments because i am certainly looking for new ideas and new things that i can create tutorials for so be sure to leave a comment below if you've got a question either about this or anything else if you like the video hit the like button if you didn't like please tell me why in the comments so that i can try and do better next time and if you want to see more videos be sure and subscribe until next time my name is nacho business and i'm saying it's a great big wasteland out there let's go have fun in it <laughs>